Oh, hello, Internet. I hope you're having a great July 5th, which is a Friday. And uh, I'm going to talk about some things that have been on my mind because I'm driving to my buddy Sancho's wedding. And you know what? I still have about two hours left to go. So you're going to hear me ramble a little bit. So here we go. Starting with a little thing that I found out about last night. I was checking on Reddit, going through like right before I go to bed. And I'm talking at like 1, 2 in the morning. And I saw on Reddit that Steam had released Final Fantasy VII. Now, I am a huge nerd and I am very wary of trolls. So when I heard that, I was like, no, Square wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do something like that for PC gamers. But uh, sure enough, I started Googling it on my phone. I uh, shit you not, I jumped out of bed, I ran directly to my computer, and I instantly bought it because I am a slave to anything that has Final Fantasy and the number seven with it. Uh, if it says final on it, not so much of a fan. If it says fantasy, maybe. If it has a number seven, not a big fan of the word seven, but you put all those together. I am a huge fan, and you will be taking my money one way or another. Now, the reason this thing is so cool to me is that it shows that Square Enix is one step closer to actually releasing a full HD remake. And on top of that, the fact that it's released on Steam, which is a... It's pretty well known it's a modder's paradise there will be people that will be coming out with mods now it's not now I've been going kind of through it and I played through it. it it looks a lot better than the normal textures you can play it uh you can play at 1920 by 1200 if you want or higher uh and uh, there's traffic everywhere oh my god and uh but the uh biggest thing that I've seen is that they don't allow any kind of mod support and I wish Square would enable that maybe they'll change their views because I've seen a lot of the forums and everything everybody's kind of not complaining about it but can you imagine a Final Fantasy 7 with a Skyrim mod support I mean this thing they wouldn't need to do any work for the HD like it'd just be like hey guess what we have a mod community here's HD and guess what we're just gonna package some good mods and put them on PS3 and Xbox and this and that and then hey, they don't even need to do any work and yes I'm almost crashing now, while this Final Fantasy VII for Steam doesn't officially support mods, there is a huge mod support uh, on the internet for the older versions of uh, Final Fantasy VII, the special edition that was released a few years ago in the original. Uh, there's a thing called a boot, uh, boot camp, or boot camp, uh, I think boot something, uh, 040, and I can't remember the exact name, I'll put the link in the, in the thing below. But it, uh, it allows you to go and install all these really great HD models for weapons, for characters, for people on the map, and it honestly makes it look pretty much like a new game. The whole UI for battles and everything looks like a brand new game. And I just, I don't understand why Square Enix wouldn't just allow, like, make it easier for the modding community, because there is a huge following for Final Fantasy VII. And it's, if they would open that up, it would it would make the HD form. They wouldn't have to do any work. It would be no extra work. It would just be opening the code and everything to the fans of this game that was made in 1997. I mean, when you have a game that old, it shows its age, and you need people to work on it for it to be something valuable. But like I said, there are such fans of this game because it is commonly known as probably the best RPG in the gaming universe, period. X, uh, I mean, there's people that argue like maybe Final Fantasy VI has a better story, and there's a couple other games that are out there that might be better RPGs, but Final Fantasy VII is commonly referred to as the best overall uh, gaming experience as far as story, graphics, gameplay, everything. And pretty much, like, I, okay, I have a PSP. Guess what first game I bought on PSP? I bought a, I bought Final Fantasy VII. PS1 game. Yeah, that's what I did. And you, you know what? I, when it came out on PC, guess what? I bought the PS, the PC version. And I bought it on the PS3. I am a slave to Final Fantasy VII. If it has the words Final, Fantasy, and VII, I'm buying it. I'm just saying. And that's pretty much all I have to say about uh, the Final Fantasy release on Steam. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's the next step towards an HD remix uh, from Square Enix. But what do you guys think? Do you, do you think it's going to be one step closer to an HD remix? Do you think they're going to enable mod support? Uh, what, what do you think this shows for the Final Fantasy VII individually as a, uh, as a individual game? Do you think they're going to be coming out with more stuff like this? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just so excited about it that I can't even, I can't even hold 
contain myself. Well, anyway, I'm going to uh, cut this video. I'm going to cut this video off right about now because I will probably crash if I keep doing this. So, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Until next time. Ah!